Okay, so we are now in quarter 4, module 1, lesson 3, antiderivatives of radical functions. The learning competency, compute the antiderivative of polynomial, radical, exponential, and trigonometric functions. The objective, Compute the antiderivative of algebraic functions containing radicals. We have here the concept notes, theorems on anti-differentiation. The letter A, the integral of dx is equal to x plus c. For letter B, we have if n is any real number and n is not equal to negative 1, then the integral of x raised to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. For letter c, if a is any constant and f is a function, then the integral of a, the function of x dx is equal to a, the integral of f of x dx. For letter d, if f and g are functions defined on the same interval, then the integral of f of x plus g of x is equal to the integral of f of x dx plus minus the integral of g of x dx. We have here the example determine the integrals of the following. For number 1, the integral of the square root of x dx. The first thing to do, we are going to change the radical sign into an exponential form since that is the square root so the exponent of x now is one half okay so we have here the solution the integral of the square root of x dx is equal to the integral of x raised to the power of one half dx okay so we are going to use the theorem 11 letter b which is the integral of x raised to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Since our n is 1 half, so we have here x raised to the power of 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus c. And 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. So x raised to the power of 3 halves over 3 halves plus c. And remember that our denominator is a fraction, so we are going to find the reciprocal of the divisor. Okay, so we have here uh, x raised to the power of 3 halves multiplied by 2 over 3. The result is 2x to the power of 3 halves over 3 plus c. Okay, another example, the integral of 4, the square root of u du. Okay, so we have here the solution. Another is the square root of u, and we are going to change that one into a exponential form. It becomes 4u to the power of 1 half du. Okay, so remember that the value of n is 1 half. We have here 4x to the power of n plus 1 since our x is represented as u and the value of n is equal to one half so it becomes 4 u to the power of one half plus one over one half plus one plus c and remember that one half plus one is equal to three halves so we have here 4 u to the power of three halves over three halves plus c and remember that our denominator is a fraction, so we are going to find the reciprocal of the divisor. So it becomes 4u to the power of 3 halves multiplied by 2 over 3 plus c. So the result is 8u to the power of 3 halves over 3 plus c. Okay, another example. The integral of t times 2t minus 3, the square root of t derivative of t okay so we have here the solution t times 2t that is 2t cubed minus t times 3 square root of t is equal to negative 3t to the power of 
three halves because when we are going to multiply t and square root of t remember that square root of t is one half and the exponent of t is one so one half when we are going to multiply the same variable copy the variable then add the exponent so one plus one half the result is three halves so therefore the integral of 2t squared minus 3t raised to the power of 3 halves dt. Okay? Then applying the rule or the theorem number 11 letter t, we have the integral of 2t squared minus the integral of 3t raised to the power of 3 halves dt. Then, we are going to apply the theorem number 11, letter C. We have the value of A, or the constant, A, the integral of f of x dx. So, it becomes 2, the integral of t squared dt, minus 3, the integral of t raised to the power of 3 halves dt. Then, after that, we are going to apply the theorem number 11, letter B where x raised to the power of n plus 1. In the first example, from 2, the integral of t squared dt, the value of n is 2. So it becomes 2 times t raised to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 minus 3 times the integral of t raised to the power of 3 halves dt is t raised to the power of 3 halves plus 1 over 3 halves plus 1 plus c and 3 halves plus 1 is the same as 3 halves plus 2 over 2 okay simplify we have 2 t raised to the power of 3 over 3 minus 6 t raised to the power of 5 halves over 5 halves plus c Remember that the second term is 3t to the power of 5 halves over 5 halves. So we are going to find the reciprocal of the divisor. So it becomes 3t to the power of 5 halves multiplied by 2 over 5. So 3 times 2, that is 6t raised to the power of 5 halves over 5 plus c. So the answer now for the integral of t times 2t minus 3 times t raised to the power of 1 half dt is equal to 2t cubed over 3 minus 6t raised to the power of 5 halves over 5 plus c. Example number 4, the integral of the quantity of x squared minus 3 times the quantity of the square root of x plus x dx. Okay, so first thing to do is we are going to multiply using the FOIL method. So x squared times the square root of x, the result is x raised to the power of 5 halves. Remember that when we are going to multiply the same base, copy the base, which is x, then add the exponent. And the exponent is 2 and 1 half when we are going to add 2 plus 1 half, the result is 5 halves. Then, x squared multiplied by x, the result is x cubed. Then, negative 3 multiplied by the square root of x, the result is negative 3x to the power of 1 half. Then, negative 3 multiplied by x, the result is negative 3x dx. Okay, so we have here the solution. Remember that we are going to use the theorem number 11, letter B, C, and D, the theorems on anti-differentiation or the different anti-differentiation law. Okay, so we have here the integral of x to the power of 5 halves. The result is x raised to the power of 5 halves plus 1 over 5 halves plus 1 because that is x raised to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus the integral of x cubed that is x cubed plus 1 over 3 plus 1 minus the integral of x to the power of 1 half that is 3x raised to the power of 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 minus the integral of 
3x dx, the result is 3x raised to the power of 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus c. Then simplify, we have here x raised to the power of 7 over 2 over 7 halves plus x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 3x to the power of 3 halves over 3 halves minus 3x squared over 2 plus c. Remember that if the denominator is a fraction, we are going to find the reciprocal, then proceed to multiplication. So from x raised to the power of 7 halves over 7 halves, it becomes x raised to the power of 7 halves times 2 over 7. So it becomes 2x raised to the power of 7 halves over 7 plus x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 3x to the power of 3 halves times 2 over 3. We can cancel 3, so the result now is negative 2x raised to the power of 3 halves minus 3x squared over 2 plus c. So that is now the answer. Okay, what's more? We have here the four exercises that you are going to answer. Thank you for listening and do not forget to click the bell icon to subscribe my channel.